please subscribe math.com for any query comment or email our today's lecture is on the operation on surds in our previous lecture we have uh, discussed the concept of surds what are surds and what are the different examples of surd and how you can identify whether the given number is a surd or not today we will see how you can add or subtract of the surds and what is the rule required for that and the, how you can uh, multiply and divide the surds first of all we will see the addition and subtraction of surds how you can add or subtract the two surds uh, and what is the rule required for that we will see the rule is only like surds can be added or subtracted we will see what are the like surds or subtracted so you have to keep this rule in your mind while adding or subtracting the uh, surds Okay, so before that we move on, we will see what are the like surds and what are the unlike surds. Okay, so like surds are basically the surds having same radicand and index. For example, 3 under root 2, 4 under root 2 and 7 under root 2. These are the three surds that you, have, you will be asked to add. You have to check whether they have the same radicand or the index and same radicand and index. Okay. So, radicand here is this one. So, all these three are same. Okay. Then, we have to see whether their index is same or not. So, what is index? And the index basically ind indicates whether it is a square root or the cube root or the fourth root. So, here we have seen that the, here this is a square root. Okay. So, same is the case in all the three surds. It means all these three surds can be added or subtracted together. So, both the conditions are satisfied. So, so, this is a square root, a square, uh, all the three surds have the uh, same uh, index. So, this is called basically the index and the same radicand. So, that's why they are called the like surds and they are the only surds that can be added or subtracted together. Okay, then what are the unlike surds? Unlike surds are basically the surds having different radicands. Okay, so if the surds uh, have different radicand, so, you cannot say that they are like surds and they cannot be added or subtracted together. Okay. Now, let's see how you can add or subtract the surds by keeping in view this condition. We will uh, explain it through example. The example here is, okay. So, how you, uh, you will say that whether this addition is uh, possible or not. We have to check whether the radicand is same. Yes, the radicand is same here 2 and 2. Here, then we have to check the order. Yes, the order is also same. So, we can add these together. Okay. So, we can solve it as by taking the under root 2 common and we write 3 plus 4 and it is 7 under root 2. So, this is the answer of the um, of adding the two uh, thirds. Okay. Now, we will see one more example as a little bit complex including the subtraction and addition both the operations will be here. So, the example is now, how you will solve this example? As it is clear from here that the radicand here is not same in all the three, but the, the order is same in all the three. So, we have to make the radicand same here. First, we check whether we, are, whether we are able to make the radicand same or not. So, for that purpose, we will start from making the factors of the radicand. Here we have 45, we will write the factors of 45 as 45 is 5, 9s are 45, 3, 3s are 9 and 3, 1s are Okay, then we have to write the factors of 20, 2, 10s are 20, 2, 5s are 10 and 5, 1. Then we have a 5, 5, uh, we need not to make the factors. Okay, then we will write it in the form of factors. It will be 5 into 3 into 3, okay, minus 3 under root. 20 has 2 into 2 into 10 and plus 4 under root 5. Okay. Then we will write as under root 5 into 3 square as we have 2 3 minus 3 under root 2 square into 10 plus 4 under root 5. Okay. Then we have what we will do we will cancel the square with the under root and we will take the, these values out. So we will write as 3 under root 5 minus 2 into 3. 3 multiplied by 2 under root. Here it will be 5. We have wrongly written there. So it will be 5. Then we write as and plus 4 under root 5. 
Now it is clear from here that we have got the same radicand after making the factors. So keep in mind that it is not always possible that after making the factors you get the same radicand in the uh, under the radical sign. So it is possible at some at some places. So it depends what are the number under the radical. Then we can write it as take the under root five as common. Then three minus six plus four, and it can be written as under root five as three minus six plus four will be one, and it is equals to under root five. So this is the answer of simplifying the thirds in a way by converting them into the the in a uniform uh, 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 structure. Like all the radicands should be same, and the uh, index or the order should also be same. Okay, let's have one more example. Example and two is four under root twelve plus five under root twenty-seven minus three under root seventy-five minus plus under root three hundred. This is a little bit complex problem, so we will we'll solve it as as we have seen that the radicands are not same. All the radicands are different. So for that purpose, our step one is to make the factors. So we'll make the factors of all here. So these are the factors. Now we'll write it here. Four under root twelve. Twelve is two into two into three plus five under root twenty-seven is three into three into three. Seventy-five is three into five into five. Three hundred is three into ten into. So these are the factors. We will write them as the uh, two square into three. As there are two times two, so we can write it as two square plus five three square into three minus three into five square. We have taken the uh, uh, we have converted the pair into the square. This okay? Then three into ten square. Now all the squares will come out of of the radical sign. It will be written as four into two under root three. Plus five into three under root three minus five into three under root three plus plus ten under root three. We and now we have got all the radicands are in the same form. All the radicands are same. That is three. Then what we will do? We will take the radicand as common and we'll write all the remaining as eight plus fifteen minus fifteen plus ten. Okay. It will be cancel out, and we will get 18 under root 3. So this is the answer of solving the thirds, adding or subtracting the thirds by by converting them into the uh, into a form that is uniform. Okay. Then we will see how you can multiply or divide the thirds. We will see what are, what is the rule applied on multiplication and division of thirds. So there are two laws of thirds while doing the multiplication or division. That are you have to keep them in your mind while multiplying or dividing the thirds. Okay, law number one is p or q order is n as we are writing the general form. So it can be written in the form p dot q with the order n. It means if you are given with the uh, form like in the left hand side, you can write it in the form of right hand side. Okay. Then if you are having a form like this in the division. This is the rule that you will apply on division, and the rule number one was for multiplication. Then you can write them as p over q with the order n. Okay, so we can say that we can we have to use these two rules for the multiplication and division of the thirds. Okay, if the thirds have not um, if the thirds to be multiplied or divided are not of the same order, they Must be reduced to get the same order. So this means they must be of same order, whether they are multiplying or they are in division form. Okay. So let's have a few examples how you can multiply or divide the thirds by keeping this in mind. Example is under root three into two under root three plus three under root three. How you can solve this equation? This equation can be solved. By multiplying this under root three, first we will remove the bracket and multiply under under root three with every term as under root three into two under root three. We'll write them as like this plus under root three into three under root three. Now, to use the law of thirds of multiplication, what you have to do if you have the same index, what you can do you can write it as under root three dot three. Okay. 
plus same is the case here we will have we will write this one and this one as 3 dot 3 and then by using the which law of sir we'll write it as the law is if you have under root p dot under root q you can write it as under root p dot q okay this is the law that we have used here then we uh, then we further simplify it uh, so 2 under root 3 square plus 3 under root 3 square this square will be cancelled out then what we will get 2 into 3 plus 3 into 3 3 2 are 6 plus 3 3 are 9 and the answer is 15 so this is how we can uh, use the multiplication law in order to solve the multi multiplication law of cells in order to solve the uh, equation uh, uh, made up of uh, multiple cells okay then we will see another example that will be of division so that you can also apply that the division as well so the equation is under root 2 plus 1 over under root 3 okay and under root 2 minus 1 over under root how you can solve that let's check it out what we will do we will first multiply each of the term with each other as under root 2 will be multiply this under root 2 will multiply with all these terms as under root 2 minus 1 over under root 3 okay then plus 1 by 3 will this term will also be multiplied with under root 3 okay now we have we can write it as under root 2 dot under root 2 minus under root 2 dot 1 over under root 3 plus 1 over 3 dot under root 2 minus 1 over 3 dot 1 over under root 3 now we will apply the multi, uh, law of multiplication on under root 2 dot under root 2 as it can be written as under root 2 dot 2 minus and uh, uh, and we can apply the division law of thirds here as they have the same order and we can write it as under root 2 by 3 plus the same is the case here under root 2 by 3 minus 1 divided by it's under root 3 so under root 3 into under root 3 we can write it as like this okay so we can write it as under root 2 square minus under root 2 by 3 plus under root 2 by 3 minus 1 over the, uh, here we have we will again apply the uh, law of um, multiplication law of search like we can return and we can write it as under root 3 dot 3 so it is clear from here these two expression can can be cancelled out and we can write it as it will be like this and we can write as 2 minus 1 divided by under root 3 square under root 3 square is 3 so 2 we can write as 2 minus 1 by 3 okay so 2 minus 1 by 3 is uh, we will take the LCM as 3 and then 6 minus 1 and 5 by 3 so this is the answer of solving this equation uh, where we have used the laws of uh, the laws of multiplication and the division law of search so this is how you can use the uh, laws of search in order to solve the equations made up of search Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.